Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, I try to look at things that are different and unique and things that people just does, don't usually talk about or cover in DCS. I, I tend to like to look at things and make things known that people might not know about. And this is one of those. So the TF-51D free flight mission for the Normandy map. This is the freebie Mustang, uh, the trainer version. And um, surprisingly, one thing I noticed is every one of the maps that they have to offer in DCS does include missions for these um, free planes that you get with DCS. I like to call it the DCS demo. But, you know, they tend to call it DCS World, and it's a full-featured simulator, and we give you two planes that, you know, you really can't do shit with. The SU-25T is useful as a ground pounder. It has limited air-to-air -air capabilities, but it's a really uninteresting plane altogether. And uh, this Mustang would be really awesome if it had guns. And you could actually do more than just fly it around as if this was Flight Unlimited. But it does look nice. It is a rather nice model. It does feel like flying a Mustang. And this is basically the trainer version of the Mustang. And um, it is cool for doing free flights in if you're looking for a prop plane. And it's nice that they do include missions, instant action missions, for both of the free planes that are included in DCS World. So I will give them credit where credit's due. So, not that I would expect anybody to do this, but if you did just buy the Normandy map, the Persian Gulf map, or the um, Nevada map, you would actually get missions for both of the free planes under instant action for them. So I thought that was kind of cool. It's almost like that they, they make sure to include that because there are other modules you can buy that you don't get missions for Normandy. You don't get missions for um, Persian Gulf. So it's nice that they've made sure they covered these free planes, uh, giving them a little bit more value than what they have. But again, I don't see why somebody would go out and buy a map instead of a module when they have nothing but the two free planes in here just to use those two free planes with. But again, I'm not gonna I'm not judging. There are people in this world that have done stranger things. Uh, there's probably people out there who are lovers of nothing but the T fifty T F fifty one D Mustang. And this is their jam. Or the SU twenty five T, you know. There's probably a club for, you know, fans of that airframe. Not my thing, but again, it's nice to see that you do get some pretty cool terrain. Oh, that's neat. Look at that kind of weird water feature. That's weird. It almost like drops down into like a lagoon on the edge of the water there. Don't quite understand that, but whatever. So, Normandy does look rather good. Oh no, I have labels on. Gotta turn that off before the label police get me. So it is an interesting looking map. And I do have the World War II assets package now because I picked that up whenever they had the sale, the uh, autumn sale, with the Spitfire. Kind of wish I would have bought the Mustang now instead of the Spitfire. I do love the Spitfire by, by the looks of it and its capabilities, but it is just next to impossible to taxi, take off, and land from a runway without lots of tinkering and bullshittery is the best description for it for me. Uh, I have a feeling if I had a Mustang, I could just take off land and do things like you would in a normal prop plane. The Spitfire had to be different. 
but that's how the realistic one operated and that's how they've modeled it in DCS and I respect them for that it's just not my cup of tea so I gotta admit you know the more I look at the Normandy map and the more I fly these instant action missions that they've created for the various planes that they do have missions for uh, I'm appreciating it more uh, I bought it two sales ago just to have a different map to do you know modern jet stuff with and uh, it doesn't fit very well and I found that I really didn't use it that much oh this is cool and there's like a real nice looking harbor town over here let's take a gander over that way The water looks kind of weird how they've done this. Yeah, so missed opportunity here is that they don't give you any ordnance or armaments for these things, you know. Here, have a Mustang that you can just do nothing but fly around in. Oh, you know what? This looks like that harbor that yes this looks exactly like that harbor that the Vigan mission takes place in I bet you this is that harbor it's just not filled with ships right now this is an awesome harbor this is a great harbor to set up and create your own uh, air to ground um, practice zone yeah, I like this harbor a lot. This is very cool. Because this is exactly where the harbor mission takes place uh, for the Vigan that I posted the video of. I recognize this. What I want to know, let me pause this, is where this is on the map. Where is this? Okay, La Havre. It's in that tip right there. Good to know. Whoa, what happened? That was weird. I came back out of the map mode and it looks like it was nighttime for a second. That is a beautiful harbor. And I'm totally going to create my own mission now to do air to ground practice stuff. Because there's so many things that you can blow up right there. In addition to just putting naval vessels there that you can use from the uh, World War II assets package. Uh, they had a submarine in the harbor, like right about there. It had a me dead ahead in the water at the entrance of the harbor. Um, there's all this industrial stuff down there that looks rather cool. Yeah, I really like this. I'm glad I did this mission. I really am, because I didn't know where this was located. And um, I haven't figured out how to open up existing, like, created DCS missions that come with the game. Um uh, to find this stuff I do know how to create my own but I don't know where a lot of these places are so this is freaking awesome that I figured this out so I'm super stoked because I'm totally going to create a mission where this harbor ends up being like a uh, practice zone for air to ground stuff because there's just so many things to bomb and have fun with you know awesome sauce so anyways this is the TF-51D uh, free Mustang that comes with DCS World. And this is the free flight Normandy map, or free flight instant action mission for Normandy for the TF-51D Mustang. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. So as always, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and until next time.